That's right, we're pumping out one of our ponds. This pond's got tilapia and mainly uh, badapiem, which is the silver barb in here. We're emptying this right down because tomorrow we've got some very special fish arriving. The species of that fish is going to be revealed at the end of this video. Right, currently we've only got one pump running in here. We're just about to have a bite to eat and then we're going to send set up our big Honda pump. So this has got to be drained and we need all the big fish out of here. Right, I'm off to feed my face. I'm starving. We wanted to get this set up and running um, before we had our breakfast. Uh, the, the, the water coming out of this pond, we haven't, we're not feeding another pond. We're feeding our, we're watering our orchard area. We're just flooding the whole area in there. So hopefully all the lime trees and, and mangoes and all those sorts of things, it'll give them a bit of a food, but it'll uh, rehydrate the land because it is so dry. You may well notice it's all gone quiet. Don't get excited, it's not all drained. Uh, we've ran out of fuel. Turn got dragged out on an errand up town. Get the petrol, love. Yeah, plenty of time to get back. No. Generator out of petrol. Honda pump. Engine out of petrol. Water will now start coming back in here. If she doesn't come back soon, then um, It'll be too late. We won't be able to get all the fish out tonight. I can see what's going to happen. Old Muggins is going to be flipping netting fish early hours of tomorrow morning before we get the delivery of the other fish. It's always a problem with the four ponds we got here because they're all interlinked. So we don't want to be pumping too much water onto the land. Yeah, I know we we're pumping some into the orchard, but the majority of it was going into the to the catfish pond, which is great because it's bringing the the water level up of course and it's it's bringing the hyacinth with it so I've, I've just started to to pull it out the bachon pond has stayed pretty pretty constant and i think it's because as that's dropping over there this one's increasing here so really that one's feeding that one which now will feed back into that one and that's why I really wanted two pumps just working flat out simultaneously. Get the water down quick, get the fish out, and then the water can be coming back tonight for tomorrow morning or, or sort of like midday tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a few feet of water back in there that's that's come through the, the rock in the sides of the ponds. Um, and then just put the fish straight in. But it always was going to be a close call, but the pump shouldn't stop. It's not even as if the pump stop and the water level stops. The pump stop, the water level will start to come back. Oh well, these things are sent to try, aren't they? Here you dares wins, Rodney. Looks like rain as well. <laughs> Sneaky to go watching me see how brave him. He try hard to take water out, try empty the pond. I don't know if we're gonna do it today, but we try. I'm quite proud of him actually. He try being. Honda out quite deep. I'm cook right on the way to go car food. Need to top up petrol again, isn't it? Which one? Nah. It's not worth. Let's break the anaconda again. Oh dear. Well, it's all go, guys. I've created my own fountain as well. 
we're nearly there. It's nearly dark and we're nearly there. Bloody hell. Uh, it's about half four. Uh, we are going in the pond still. Toon's uh, just nipped into the village. Uh, there's a car food that comes in, so I think she's just getting a few bits and bobs. We're having uh, a quick meal tonight. There's some salmon, a kai jiao omelette thing. Uh, and then we're gonna throw ourselves in the pond. Let's have a look how we've been getting on. I'm currently flooding my moringa and papaya area. Uh, unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control, <laughs> uh, we haven't been able to empty this as quick as we'd have liked. So the main reason being our trusty Honda pump, nothing wrong with it. It's just that <clears throat> as I moved it further and further down, I moved it down to, to there. Uh, it, it was just too high for it and the angle for the anaconda pipe that goes into the or the hose that goes into the back of it that was pushing against the side of the pond you know ideally this this metal pipe work here we could do one twice as long and then just have the setup right up on the shelf here and then we're not got to keep on sliding it further and further down there it is bloody dangerous and hard work i'm absolutely wrecked but what was happening, because it was pushing against the side here and it's all sharp stone, it just rips through the, the anaconda once it's uh, under pressure. So we've had to ditch that and we're relying on our old sump pump. So it's doing a good job, but obviously it's slowed down a little bit. Uh, but it's still about, about waist deep. But of course, as it gets, as it gets shallower, uh, the area gets smaller so it should speed up a little bit well it is doing uh, I just want to keep on going otherwise it's going to be a it's going to come up about another foot overnight there's one snake in there that I've clocked Toon said she's still going in which I'm surprised so I think Muggins has got to sort the snake out there's so many fish in there and so many uh, fry as well I couldn't help it I, I dipped the net a couple of times and each time I just bored it up I didn't see any fish I just put it through yeah, got, I don't know, 10, 20 each time. So uh, yeah, as the water level drops, I can get in there with my my fine net and uh, get a load of the fry out. That's more stock for the lake, isn't it? Toon wants some tilapia for dinner. The only problem is when you drain a pond like this, of course they're, they're taking in muddy water. It's all, you know, agitated from the bottom. So to be perfectly frank, I'd, I'd prefer to purge them overnight and have them the next day. They too taste a little bit earthy if they've been around in muddy water so um, I don't know we'll see I can't see us getting done before nightfall anyway but we might be doing it by a torch <laughs> I'm hunting uh, the bus is back so that's it the hunt's on it's still a bit deep but who cares Right then, I must crack on. I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up. It looks like a bloody gypsy site. It's my old sketches from the UK. These are my pond shoes. Once more into the breach, guys. I know we're quite late, but what can we do? This one not work anymore, too short. I don't mean they not work, but they're too short. But we still... We start hunting. Oh. oh, what you got? At the end. Oh, please start caught fish, but uh, wow. Boy. I can't go da back in the water anymore. Quite scared. I have to be a little job alone now. We got fresh water, fresh water mussel, isn't it? Yeah. Where well, we throw super nip nip them our little finger but they're quite a good sign now they're alive it's Billy alone quite feel sorry to him I think I think I feel that but I can't go in no way he just pissed off with me now for stand here holding it it's what we caught well he caught it Water down enough for hunting now. We can't get more down than that because we got small pump. Have to suck up high. 
Here, next oh. to you as well, next to you, under your right ha left hand as well. What you got? Got the pen? Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Right. You know you can untie that net. Oh, 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 oh. Fin stuck in it. Mm, there. We're gonna eat them anyway. Oh, honey? Honey, I'm busy, isn't it? He's more dead with me now. I quite feel bad I can't help him, but I'm sorry, it's too drama. I'm so scared. But the pen, I don't know what they call. Bob. Huh? Bob. Bob. Look, you see, dum dim dum dim now they start come hey. up. Oh, big one. We need to let them go in the lake some. Look, we still got so many. Here. Yeah. Oh, we're going to put some of the pregnant females in the lake. It's not a bad start. Have a look, missus. Wow. Woo! <laughs> and look, guy, I don't bullshit. Look, head everywhere. <laughs> Tap Tim. Bob. What you call Tap Tim? Talapia. Yeah. Look, they're everywhere now. Try to get my hand on this. You're gonna cut by hand. <laughs> oh, got another one then. He's gonna cut another one by hand. I don't think he get that one. Oh, he just stalked them bird, didn't he? Oh, ah, see? Right, we're off to the lake. We're not gonna put them all in there, but that's certainly the pregnant females, the really big, fat, healthy ones. And uh, we've got a couple of bullfrogs as well. Uh, the boys are destined for salt sour fish. Right, I'm gonna leave it up to Toon. Anything that doesn't look very happy, we'll, uh, we'll oh, just got bitten. That's a beauty. This one here. Oh. Yeah, gone off nice now. Nice boy, isn't it? Where's the... There's a short, fat one. Yeah, that one's all right. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that one on top as well. I think. If it's not too sleepy. Let's have a look. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there. Gonna be in up to midnight to clean fish. Oh, they all. I think these are keepers, aren't they? Don't forget we got a lot more. A lot more. That's a nice boy, isn't it? Mm. Should put him in. Got to keep some boys, haven't we? Right, that'll do, I think. Mm. And everything else we catch, that, we keep. That's more. We've got one of our chockers, and boy, has it been growing well. These are a fascinating fish. If Toon can pick it up. You might just lay the thing down, missus. Can hold it sideways or something. Is that all right? Hold it sideways. That's upside down, isn't really? it? Really? That's what I did ask you if you were all right doing it. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Put him in. There's one more to go, isn't there? Right, we've... Two more, isn't there? No, one we've more. We've got three. No. Yes, we did. Right, we've got oh. all this lot. Whoa. <laughs> Soon's on the uh, goat island at the moment. She's just sorting the goats out. I've just come and emptied our net into the bucket for all the fish that are going to be processed tomorrow. There's no 
no way we got energy to do it tonight uh, but there's still about another 30 40 fish i think in the in the pond we've stopped sucking the water out there now uh, but they're all on the top it's, it's just like a, a thick gloop now so the, 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 it's really thick muddy water so they're easy to scoop out um, but the the light is just about gone so it's we don't leave any fish behind right I've got to go and put some mozzie lotion on and throw myself in a muddy pond again in the middle of the night fantastic ready for round two then so I gave up late last night and this morning some of the water's come back other butchers I would say it's come back up about four inches or so which isn't too bad I thought it'd be a little bit quicker than that so our plan is for today is in this corner here I'm gonna dig a bit of a deeper hole and sit a piece of wood underneath our submersible pump which is attached to our ingenious flotation devices there and just pump some more water out onto the papayas there then we'll get the remaining decent sized fish out uh, and then start using our fine net our fine mesh net to get the babies out I've dug some steps Eddie will be happy with me there uh, I did a couple of steps here I don't want to do too many because although it does look like rock there is a little bit of soil and clay there so once it fills back up with water or we get heavy rains uh, that'll just get all washed smooth again and we'll end up keep on digging in there so my plan is every time that we drain one of these ponds down and we need to get in there it's just to redig some steps in there Toon said she'd like a little bamboo ladder going in there but you'll see the state of my bamboo raft carbon tree is not one of my strong points after that our plan is to remove some of the water out of the crayfish grow out pond it's a good opportunity really to get the water level down the crayfish certainly seem to be thriving in there every time that the water level drops so we can drop that by a couple of meters put it into this pond and everything should be good Toon's just having her late breakfast because she's only just come back from the Saturday market and we've got our fish delivery some of which will be going in here so excited and don't forget I'm going to tell you what fish they are at the end of this video that's it guy today it's done Lee done I don't know if he do a good job or not but yeah he done for now a chocker. give chocker shower oh dear that my husband skin like a dogfish look at that that's a mouth mm -hmm. gop, 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 gop. wow Beautiful, isn't it? Alien. You see underneath here? That's spiky. Yeah, spiky there. That way, oh, that way, sharp. Take your skin off. Oh, wow. Right, grow big. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. 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 We got so many. A lot more shrimp than I thought. Yeah, a lot of shrimp. Hey, 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 he's gonna go. Tim's just taking a few of the big crabs out to mix with the whiskey for a mum. Apparently, it's an old style medicinal drink for diabetes. I don't know whether that's true or not. This work. Right, look at all that. Baby fish galore. Shrimp galore and juvenile tilapia. What galore? Mean a lot. Oh. Brilliant. Oh, new word again. Chop chop, battery's nearly dead. And I need a break. Off you go. And away. Well, they're not clean, innit? How many fish we let go today? Oof. Including all these? Probably about 5,000. Not many dead at all, missus. Oh, look at that crap. Don't want to go. So the last thing that remains still to be done is put the pump into the crayfish pond and start topping up the pond again. And then we're going to introduce our fish. Toon, what fish have we got to put in the pond? What we've been after for ages. Bagai. What you want me to bagai. say? Bagai. Yeah, bagai. But what's my favourite? My favourite carp. Oh, oh my well. Siamese carp, that my favourite, not yours. Siamese carp. 
the biggest carp in the world. Well, these aren't, but we're going to show you them in another video. Beautiful! Doo -doo.